the Jets overall have high expectations for next season with all of the improvements in the draft and free agency with the money and the high draft capital, but in my opinion, there's one player specifically that will elevate this Jets offense and take it to the next step where we'll finish as a top 16 offensive unit. Now, who is that player? None other than quarterback Zach Wilson. And if you look solely on last season, you may be a little bit puzzled because trust me, I know he definitely had his growing pains and struggles. The interceptions early on, it was not good. He was bounce passing, screen passes, quick games. He was staring down his first receiver. He was throwing uh, very risky balls. But as we saw the season develop, Zach Wilson looked a lot more calm and poised behind the pocket. Keep in mind that his weapons were severely worse. Braxton Barris was his best receiver at some point with Elijah Moore and Corey Davis both being out. And the last five games, he threw zero interceptions. He played some clean football. He was safe. And it's definitely something to build upon. But I think Zach Wilson will get progressively better next season. Now, I'm not saying he's going to throw for 50 touchdowns. Pump the brakes. It's a little bit unrealistic. But Joe Douglas has surrounded Zach Wilson with as much help as as possible, quite frankly, right now. The offensive line looks pretty much solidified. George Fant, Elijah Vera Tucker, Connor McGovern, and then we signed Lakin Tomlinson for big money. So now our guard spots are locked up. Makai Becton, you hope he comes back healthy and strong. And now the wide receivers, we got Garrett Wilson, potentially the best wide receiver in the draft. Very good at creating separation, a thing that receivers struggled with early on. And then that's gonna leave Elijah Moore and Corey Davis with some more one-on-one -on -one situations. And the running game. It is severely, severely upgraded now with Brees Hall and him and Michael Carter will make a great duo. But how does that correlate to Zach Wilson's performance and success on the field? Well, for Zach Wilson, he struggled from some talent deficiencies last season because while at times it was all his fault, it was in his head, he was making bad reads from the quarterback position, you gotta have help. I'm pretty sure we all remember that one play that went viral on TikTok where the kid is, is literally just dismantling the Jets on everything, where our guards were blocking each other, Corey Davis slipped down, Zach Wilson made a bad throw, all that fiasco, but Zach Wilson has the work ethic to really become a great quarterback. We see it. We see how the coaches talk about him. I remember Robert Saul was talking early on last season about how he was just studying film all the time, and Zach Wilson has taken the initiative to go work out with his receivers in places like Florida, train with Corey Davis, because they were not really on the same connection last season. Braxton Barrios is back in house. He has chemistry with these receivers now. So he has a lot more trust in, in them and they have a lot more trust in him. And Mike LaFleur, he has the entire season from last season to review film and understand what Zach Wilson does, does very well and what maybe he's not the best at right now and what to potentially ask Zach Wilson to work on uh, through OTAs, through the off season and through, through training camp. So Zach Wilson has a lot to work with weapon wise and also last season's film. Rookie season, it's always very tough for any quarterback. I don't care who you are. Even the best of the best, they have their bad moments. We remember Justin Herbert when he threw like, what, four interceptions against the Patri against the Patriots? They all have those bad moments. But Zach Wilson, too, he has the capabilities to become that, that great quarterback. We saw flashes of it. He has the anticipation that is necessary to succeed at the NFL level. He has displayed some nice accuracy, especially down the stretch of last season. And he, I feel like he has the sort of moxie and swagger. And we saw him use his legs more as the season progressed, which is something I'm very pumped about. Because if no one's open, use your legs and run. You can be the weapon even if you're not throwing to the, rod, to the wide receivers. And Zach Wilson had that amazing touchdown run against the Jaguars that I saw in person. So he can do damage with his legs. And now he, he understands more of the offense. He, he knows what the coaches want uh, from him. And the defense got better too. And you may be asking, how's that going to help Zach Wilson? Better field position, that is why. Better field position, if we can force punts and really just stifle other teams' offenses, it'll leave Zach Wilson with some easier situations. Like, we may be on our own 40 instead of our own 10, trying to score a touchdown. And trust me, that helps a quarterback a hell of a lot. Defense helps with the turnovers that they can create. It can allow for easier opportunities for Zach Wilson to lead this offense and score offensive touchdowns. So, I liked a lot of his film from college. I was underwhelmed as in the first half of the season last year with Zach Wilson, but I have the utmost confidence that he will take the next step forward. I have faith in Zach Wilson to go from a eh, mediocre quarterback to a good quarterback. I think his work ethic is definitely translatable, and I think that will feed him the motivation to really perfect what he was not the best at last season. And we added weapons around him too, 
And for these younger quarterbacks, we like to push the schedule ahead and really want these guys to just be elite overnight. Rookies are on a, they have five year contracts, four years in the fifth year option. Zach Wilson has time, wait until at least year three. But even though I'm saying that, I do expect him to go from a mediocre quarterback to a good to potentially even better than good quarterback. I really think we've put him in a position to succeed. I believe he has that drive and ambition to get better and really try and dominate and figure out the NFL. It looks like a recipe for success alongside Mike LaFleur being in his second year. He has he has the film last season to understand what's gonna work and what's not gonna work. Now with this new personnel, what can we add onto the playbook? What can we maximize from Zach Wilson that we saw last season to potentially make this offense better suit him and have him feel more comfortable? It makes sense. Zach Wilson will take the next step next year and really make this Jets offense go from it was all right considering all things to the Jets have a pretty good offense. So let me know what you guys think about that. I really do have faith in Zach Wilson, but only the season will tell. Keep in mind, this is just a projection and I'm saying this in May. So barring any injuries, barring anything crazy, I do think Zach Wilson will become a good quarterback next season. I think he will lead this Jets team to eight wins. So let me know what you guys think about this. I really think the offense can get a lot better due, because of Michael Floyd's maturity as a play caller and then Zach Wilson himself. I, I really don't want to see any bounce passes this upcoming season, and I don't think so. I think he's frustrated by that more than anyone. So let me know what you guys think, and yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.